Oh, great part. I mean, let's look back to, I mean, Sam, obviously his father has always hated Sam, right? Sam was too fat. Sam was too lazy. Sam was never dedicated like his older uh, brother, uh, Dickon. Um, so like he just, when he finds out his father dies, it's kind of like he's a little bit of, he's a little bit sad because Sam's a caring guy. He thinks about his mother and his mother loves his father. He thinks about, you know, his, his brother missing his father. So he still feels a little sad, but at the same time, he, he has the animals. He's like, well, at least my brother uh, is going to be the, the new king there. And then Daenerys tells him that I killed your brother. And his brother was, you know, a great guy. His brother was an awesome man. His brother was an honorable man. His brother was a, a good person to Sam. He was nice to Sam. And then that's when you really see the difference in uh, John Bradley's face emotions, uh, how, how upset he gets, how sad he gets. Um, he, he has that transition where he, it's kind of like a fake uh, sad and then a real, like, legit sad. And uh, John Bradley plays it perfectly just with the levels. Sam is super underrated, by the way. Sam has done so much for this show, it makes zero sense. First person to kill a White Walker, uh, save Sir Jorah's life, freaking tells John about his true heritage, and then Sam's Sam's just so upset, you know. He's it, it. It seemed like this was a moment where like Sam was like, "I'm about to just wreck havoc. Like I'm just about to like do something crazy that I shouldn't do." And then uh, there's like this crazy part where he's like going down these stairs right here, and like some like some asshole is like some dude on a carriage is driving is literally driving around Winterfell like 50 miles an hour. Like why is he going so fast inside the castle of Winterfell? Like there's all these people and bodies and stuff in Winterfell, and like this guy just like drove past like he was on the freeway or something like that. Like. That guy needs to slow down. Like, he's almost trying to kill somebody, man. Guy's a savage. Whoever was driving that carriage is a savage. And then uh, while, while Sam runs out, he, uh, after hearing the news about his father and brother dying, he runs out, he sees Bran. And Bran, uh, you know, uh, he's, he's kind of like, hey, what are, you, what are you doing out here to Bran? And Bran's like, uh, I'm waiting for an old friend. And at this time, and this is a play to uh, Mike, Mike, what you said, um, I personally thought he was just talking about Sam right here because I thought Bran was, you know, Bran's looking into the future. He knows where everybody's moving and stuff like that. So when he says, I'm waiting for an old friend, he was just saying he was waiting to talk to Sam because he knew that Sam was going to be coming out at this specific time. Um, later to find out, it's not Sam. It's uh, another old friend of his. So 